Welcome to Scarborough, where creativity thrives and street art Toronto turns concrete into gold. Adding vibrant, colorful, community-engaged street art that makes this place feel more like home. Since 2012, thousands have found purpose. A new world in a can of paint, creating possibilities that never existed, opening new doors and paving new lanes, working at new heights without limits, making streets more beautiful and safe, artistic alchemy in public space. From its inception, Street Art Toronto built a level of trust with street artists, planted seeds that allowed them to harvest. They researched, listened to their goals, and enlarged it. Prior to, artists would never engage with government establishments. Start Toronto became a bridge, helping them build portfolios and skills in project management. Most projects are community engaged because it has to resonate. Our neighborhoods are not just a gathering place. They are where we live and build our future. It's where we find our village and our sense of self. Street Art Toronto helps marginalized groups become more visible and increases a sense of belonging, inspiring us to reflect on our culture and identity, building bridges, conversations, and empathy. My first impression of street arts values and their programs was I felt like this was something that I could really connect with. It was about diversity, it was about inclusion, it was about accessibility, it was about mentorship. Our community lacked the opportunities for youth who are interested in the arts. Start was so focused on youth, engaging youth in the community. And I think that's one of the pieces of its values that has sort of lived through in all of the projects that we've done over the years, is ensuring that community and youth engagement is at the core. Art can speak to the positive uh, elements that are happening in these neighborhoods, where a lot of these neighborhoods traditionally have endured a lot of violence and crime and just unfortunate situations. So the first project I actually did with Start was in 2013, and I connected with the Boys and Girls Club of East Scarborough to do a large-scale mural on Kingston Road. It was a great opportunity to engage a group of youth that had, would otherwise have not been engaged in any art project and just watching their growth. I'm working with Start since 2014, 2015. Since then, I've worked my way up doing laneway jams myself and also to like 14-story buildings, eventually to facilitating as well. So not just painting, but helping other artists, making their processes easier. There's no real limitation to the size and scope of the projects. We've done um, eight projects uh, in the community, and they've ranged in scope from uh, refinishing an existing mural uh, to pillars all the way up to a 14-story uh, building. As a young artist, being mentored and being given the platform and the opportunity to create art was so valuable. It was really the thing that inspired me to continue with art. Like street art itself mentored me and gave me the opportunity and the voice and the platform to get my art out there. And that's something that I really try to pay forward and instill in the young people that I work with. With the values, that's what really stands out to me. It's the mentorship components, the transferable skills that young people are able to engage with towards their employment, training, education. And I heard about like an opportunity where I could paint a mural with like a bunch of community artists. And it kind of helps you to like know more about people who work in the field. You can take like pointers from them, eventually like evolve yourself up to like that particular skill level and like what they're looking for in a job and all that stuff. But I hadn't worked on a platform, like elevated platform. Like it was really helpful to work on that project because it gave me the experience. I was able to like get that certification. But now that I have that, like the, the job opportunities are much larger. I can help other artists work on large scale. From my own personal experience, being a part of a larger project, a collaborative project, as a young person can be very transformative. One of the main things we wanted to do was give that experience to the young people. We also engaged a broader community to get different feedback. Uh, so it was a collaborative effort and in different ways, especially in our neighborhoods that there's a lot of trauma, there's a lot of just hurt, loss, and art can speak to that in terms of like just making connections and reducing that. They were truly engaged by talking with the artists, coming out and participating, you know, when we had our wrap-up celebration with the project at Susan, and that project engaged the residents of Susan Towers. They saw themselves and they saw their thought in that particular artwork. In the last six to seven years with all these different projects, 
There has not been one that's been vandalized right now. That community ownership is, is, is big because the community is looking out for their own spaces and things that they take pride in. We're about eight murals in now in that general area and it's really transformed that space. It's really transformed that community. Whereas before there was really nothing there in terms of art and creativity. And now it's almost like a few blocks where it's just mural after mural. So the 4301 Kingston Road one, for example, that's over 20 pillars that have been painted. And each pillar has a different meaning behind it. And I think that's one of the really valuable things in the work that STAR does is it identifies these areas that really need that attention, that need that care. Just us being there and creating art in that space shifted how the residents felt about themselves, the community. And so when my voice is heard as a young person and it's visualized in that mural art, that's the healing process right there for me. Being able to be put into an, an image that represents my community and me being able to say, this is my community. At the end of the day, it's beyond the honorarium and payment for a lot of people. It's the fact that they're building connections and bringing a new narrative and shaping just a different experience in their neighborhood. The experience of creating art in itself is almost a magical experience. It's, it's a transformative experience. Alchemy, in a way, is that idea of taking nothing and creating something of value. It's about that transformation and, and START has allowed for artists to sort of develop that transformation work within communities. I think street art kind of adds like that splash of life into it. So in that way, I think it's like sort of like alchemy because it's like transforming this community into something more colorful. You can make something that can change lives and can inspire people. And for me, I see that as gold. I see that as valuable as gold, maybe even more valuable than gold. Each mural is a brushstroke of accessibility and inclusivity on the city's colorful canvas, making our neighborhoods more reflective of the stories across the atlas. As diverse as our city is, no voice should be limited. Every mural on a building should take our stories to new heights, and every mural to reflect who we are and the authenticity of our lives. Start Toronto builds communities through collaboration, working with artists, institutions, businesses, and community organizations towards meaningful revitalization, coloring our city more beautiful. Every piece of art is unique and transcends the usual. Most of the art we see incorporates elements of community to embed their lived experiences within murals, to ensure community members feel seen and reflected, exposing youth to the power of art and new perspectives. Artists also receive training, resources, knowledge, and skill development that helps them elsewhere in other areas. In the process, youth are learning more than just art. They're learning about engagement, life skills, employment skills, and mentorship by their icons. Many Start Toronto artists have been commissioned to do work across the country with endeavors to support emerging artists to help them become more known, mentoring the next generation which helps build the city's name across the globe. Over the last 10 years, START has transformed lives and given many a sense of purpose, coalescing the arts with community service, a legacy to be remembered for generations to come. We are 10 years in, but there's still more work to be done. START Toronto is a pot of gold behind the rainbow, a movement that transcends alchemy, not just adding value to our communities, they bring dreams into reality. So we are 10 years down and have many more to go. Over the decade, the vision has ballooned and grown. In the next 10 years, watch us transform more walls and more neighborhoods into gold.